morning, everybody. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's our little yellow belly slider. He's actually hanging out in the van today. But we've got something special for you. We're right here in Riverside, California. And we're actually boondocking in two of our friends, subscribers, and Patreons' houses. You know, we loved to... We, we love to meet our subscribers and we really, really enjoy the people that comment and really interact on our channel and come over to Patreon and do a lot of interacting there. Yep. It's really you guys who make the channel. It really is. And so one of the things we love to do is driveway surf and some of our friends that we've spoke to and got to know over the, over the years of traveling through the internet and now to be able to meet some of these people, you know we have stayed at a lot of subscribers' houses and we've stayed at some other YouTubers' houses also. And it really makes for a very pleasant experience. And we get to hook into some electricity and actually charge up. I'm reconditioning our batteries today and tonight. We're gonna be staying here this weekend, which is amazing. Yes. We're gonna do a little hike and go See out. The local spot. Pretty much. So that's that's our plan. But while we're boondocking here in their driveway, they're getting ready to head to Zion National Park tomorrow morning. Actually, not tomorrow morning. It's gonna be in a couple of days, two or three days. They're gonna be heading to Zion and they're actually doing it in their brand new 2018 A liner from A Escape. Escape from A liner there. And I know you know A liners from they make those A frame uh, camp, pop up campers that everybody's enjoying now. But this is their newest, latest innovation, right? Yeah. Well, without further ado, I'll let Lee here introduce himself. He's going to actually be showing us around his rig, and I hope you enjoy it. So, hey everybody, I'm Lee, and uh, this is our nearly new uh, 2018 A Liner Escape A. The Escape comes in three, three versions. Uh -huh. uh, there's a very plain version that has nothing but cabinetry inside, there's a version that has a shower, and then the A version has uh, air conditioning built-in solar and, and the outside shower so it pretty much has all the all everything the, plus the AC at the end right Very basically nice. basically you get everything that you need to uh, to either boondock or have all the accommodations that you'd want in a campground and it does come with a 40 watt solar panel on the top right built, built in yeah. with the a plus yes okay I tow it with the 2015 Tacoma pickup a so. four-cylinder automatic pre-runner and uh, it's rated to tow up to 3,500 pounds. The dry weight on the A-liner is about 1,600 pounds so it tows it with no problem at all. On this little A-liner it comes standard with one battery correct right, one group, and one group 24 battery one group 24 and two propane tanks correct two 20 pounds propane tanks well, that's really nice and something that I like is a spare tire guys is a spare you never know when you're gonna get out here I'll let you see so it's kind of like almost like a teardrop but it's actually taller than our van and it's 50 square feet compared to our 38 square feet van and they've got the nice pop out windows on the sides here that are really nice you have your water fill down here on the bottom right yep so here we got a um, cable hook up for so if you're in a campground that has cable you just run your own cable to here it hooks directly to the TV that's inside uh, the uh, shore water fill, um, 30 amp AC. 30 amp service. Right. Or you can plug that into your generator if you need to, right? right. That's right, we do that also. And then an uh, external shower. All right. And LED running lights all around. So is that a hot shower or a cold shower? It's a hot, it's a hot shower. Hot shower, well, right. you can't beat that on the road. That's something you definitely need, so. Right. But as we spin around here. It is a five foot, awning that pulls out to here five wide and about five long 
So it's kind of like our ARB awning that we have off the back of our van. Exactly. And you're entering the back just kind of like we enter the back of our van, right? Right. right. Nice screen door. Can't beat that. Not a huge step up, am I right? No, no, it's so about a foot if you, step up. So this. about a foot. So right. if you're if you're wondering what that kind of um, height distance, you're only looking at about a foot of stepping up into the rig. And I know a lot of people have balance issues, right? And that affects a lot of how what they buy and what works for them. Right. So. Now one of the things that a, the uh, a liner did that was smart about this is. They put a drop floor in here at the galley so that the actual height from the bottom of the air conditioner to the floor is six foot four. So if you're a big guy, you can stand up and walk around in here without banging your head on things. And hitting it on the AC controls, right? Exactly. So, so if you're tall, this might work for you, right? Yep. All right. As we go in, of course, the, the roof slopes down a little bit, but how right. tall are you? I'm about 5'10". About 5'10", and you can stand up right into the into the little right, kitchen even, area here. Right, even on the lift step. And I'm about 5'8", and I have no problem at all standing up in here. It's perfect. Right. So, we want to start over here. I'm sure everyone's going to ask. Where's the bathroom? Now the bathroom is... We had a shower outside, right? right? Right, The bathroom is right here. No way. Yep. So... This is a five-gallon Thetford cassette toilet. And it's but, kind of... It's the same company that we have on that, on the same toilet company that we have, Threshford. Right. And they work amazing. Never seen this style. But if you're building out a van... This might be perfect, even better than the one that I have. You could incorporate it into this little cabinet. Right. And on the outside here right. is where you would pull a little cassette thing out exactly. to dump it, correct? Exactly. It holds it has its own five gallon water tank and it holds five gallons of waste that you could just pull out. It's got wheels on the on the uh, disposal tank and a handle that extends so you can just wheel it over to the dump station. It's almost just identical to mine. It's just they form factored it in a little different. Right. But as you notice, the counter there folds down and gives you plenty of counter space where the toilet would be and you don't even see it, which so many people say in our van, the toilet's right there. Well, the toilet's here and you've just hit it very, very conveniently. Yeah, they so, did a nice job. Uh, it's a 3.2 cubic foot three-way refrigerator with a little freezer built into it. Big deal. Um, a two burner um, suburban stove top. All right. And I'm assuming that the refrigerator, since it's the Medic, is a three-way. It, it can is. be ran off gas, electric, or 12 volt, right? It is. it is. And you just run it off your two propane tanks, is that? Right, right. Well, I run it off of, uh, I put it on auto, so if I'm hooked to shore power, I'm running off AC. If I'm not, if I'm boondocking, I'll run off of propane. And when I'm towing, I run off DC. To so save the propane. Exactly. That makes sense. So I like that size. And if you can get one that runs off propane and you're low on your solar, that might help you out. Exactly. Uh, so It's got a built-in microwave. Of course, um, you would need the generator running to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Generator, shore power, either one. And uh -huh. then... A, 9200 BTU uh, air conditioner. 9200. So it's not the huge 1350, no. but it'll definitely freeze you out in here. Yes. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It, it works really efficiently. The air conditioning comes out of the vent, runs down the face of this, and circulates through the trailer. It gets nice and chilly in here, even when it's 100 degrees outside. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, okay, so we've got a circular sink here good size sink with an extension rod my wife loves this for washing her hair in the sink absolutely <laughs> gotta have that right it's got an um, 1800 BTU furnace propane 
Yes. All right. Propane furnace. And, uh, and you have all the propane and gas detectors, I'm sure, and smoke yes. detectors come yeah, all standard. The all the controllers are over there. Good deal. Uh, it's got a six-gallon uh, water heater, pretty much the conventional size for all the RVs. Built-in um, LED lighting uh, up high, and it's got built-in uh, floor lighting. That's very nice. Then we'll come into the living room here where we have some dining seating. Right, the, the uh, okay, the, well I have 20, 23, 24 inch LED TV with a sound bar that you can connect directly to it or you can Bluetooth your um, phone. Or your tablet. Correct. Or computer. Any, yeah, any of your music sources you can connect that way. Uh, this, the two platforms here extend to the center and the mattresses drop down. And then Makes for sense. us, we have an extra mattress that we roll out from underneath underneath the cabinets here and this becomes very close to an exact queen size bed very nice yeah so it's very comfortable all right well i think that does it guys short little tour for a short little camper but i noticed this window on this side has ventilation right and the, the other one has your emergency exit and right. a little bit of ventilation right. too right curtains are up to block it out and you can actually stand up in here, park it, and be out in the in the uh, Tacoma running around all day long with no problems, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. We, we really enjoy it. It's perfect size for, for the two of us. And this is a new um, type of line for A-Liner, correct? Yeah. A-Liner has been, for many years, only been in the A-frame business and starting... They had ventured into this market at one time several years ago and then backed away know. from it and then they reinitiated it with the Escape in 2017 we bought ours in 2018 and the 2019 they have two new versions the great Escape and the grand Escape. both of them have a little bit different features but it's basically the same but it's a foot wider and a foot longer so you have and a little longer. heavier right yeah so yeah. and now you're not pulling it with a four cylinder anymore well you could pull you could pull it with mine because mine will pull 3500 pounds but you know it, it weight's always the biggest consideration when you're shopping for your for your rig it is Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of this 2018 A-Liner. I think it's super interesting. I think it's really nice. I would actually say this is probably perfect amount of space if you're trying to go really small, especially for two people. This is the smallest probably most couples would want to go. This is 50 square feet, where we live in 38 square feet. And this to be able to stand up in here makes a world of difference guys that's yeah. pretty much the difference that's that extra few feet is right there but we hope you enjoyed this and maybe you would like to purchase one of these if not thanks for watching anyway i hope you enjoyed the tour and we really really appreciate our friends letting us boondock in their their driveway Let and us letting the us tour the rig and all the hospitality they've given us up to this point is so appreciated. You just, you just guys, you don't know what it's like to be a nomad and be able to boondock in somebody's driveway and not worry about anybody knocking on or your door you do. or taking a nice hot shower, having a little electricity it means the world. So we, we really appreciate that. And we appreciate each and every one of you for watching our videos also. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. There's more content on Patreon. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. To get your Van Life Sheldon's Travel stickers, go to our PayPal. The link is in the description below. One can be yours for $5 or two for eight going to the same address. And please remember to include your address with your payment. As always, thanks for traveling with us.
And don't forget to click on that subscribe button or the Patreon button or one of our hundreds of videos and our playlist below.